Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Shiitake mushrooms are a delicious gourmet mushroom, and they're very expensive if you've noticed. But with a little bit of love, a little bit of labor, and a little bit of dedication, you can grow them right in your own backyard. Today we're going to be inoculating hardwood logs with shiitake plugs. And stay tuned for more videos on the care and harvesting of these logs. The first step is to get suitable logs. The best logs are oak, but shiitake are happy on many hardwoods such as gum, maple, elm, and alder. Thick barked trees work better than paper barked ones. Avoid conifers and aromatic woods. The most productive logs are four to six inches in diameter and are commonly cut to a length of three to four feet. You want a high percentage of sapwood to heartwood. When looking at your logs, the light colored part is the sapwood and the dark part is the heartwood. Additionally, you want wood that was cut from a live tree while it is dormant so that it has the highest concentration of sugars and the bark is tight. Cut the log and wait two weeks for the natural antifungals to degrade. But don't wait for longer than two months to plug your mushrooms. If you live in a dry climate or it's been a very dry year, it's advisable to soak your log for about three days before plugging. And if you don't have a creek like I do, you can just use a big trough. If you're stumped on a source for logs, try calling a local arborist or tree removal service. They often have extra logs. Inoculate any time between spring and fall, except you want to make sure and inoculate after the last frost up until 40 days before the first frost. Here's the equipment you'll need on inoculation day. A high speed drill, a 5 16th inch drill bit, cheese wax or beeswax, a wax pot, a natural bristled brush or a metal turkey baster, aluminum tags, a hammer, and a camp stove or electric hot plate. Start by drilling your holes four to six inches apart and two inches deep. It can be helpful to put the log up on some saw horses to make it easy to rotate and drill. Start your next row of holes at a two inch offset from your first row. This will create a diamond pattern of holes. Once your holes are drilled, take your plugs and hammer and tap the plugs into each hole. The plug should be flush with the bark. Heat the wax to 260 degrees Fahrenheit. It should start to smoke at this point. Be careful if you're using a camp stove because the wax is flammable. Brush a light wax cap on each hole. The wax should sizzle when it comes in contact with the wood. The wax helps conserve moisture and avoid contamination. Again, if you're in a dry climate, it might be a good idea to brush a light coat of wax over the ends of the logs as well. Add a metal label to each log with the date of inoculation and the fungi strain. If you have multiple logs, check out our blog on how to stack your logs. In any event, don't stack them like firewood. Locate your laying yard in a nice shady area protected from wind. Pine trees are the best type of shade, however you can use other conifers or 80% shade fabric. Your logs need water just like your garden does. A good interval for watering is using misters for about a half hour in the morning or using a sprinkler for about an hour. Don't let your logs stay wet all the time because that can lead to contamination by weedy fungus. If you have multiple logs and you want to make sure that you're watering correctly, you can pick out one of the logs as a reference log. Please check out our blog for more information about that. With good care, your shiitake should fruit within 6 to 12 months. So grow some mushrooms and grow organic for life. 